Had a whole school of them down there under that dock piling. Look at that. Whole school of gills. A company by the name of E Yo Yo actually reached out to me uh, via email and asked if I would be willing to do a review of their one of their products, one of their many products they have. Um, if I was interested in reviewing it, which is, as you could tell from the title and the thumbnail, a underwater camera. Um, the reason I chose to do this is because this is something I could use in my arsenal and improve my quality of content and, and just give a different perspective while I'm ice fishing. How I'm going to use it, uh, I'm not going to say on this video, but if you guys tune into my videos in the future, you're going to see how I'm going to incorporate this underwater camera into my content this ice fishing season. Now, they reach out to me and offer the product in return of a review, and that's what I'm doing. At the end of the video, I'll give you guys my pros and cons of the product just from my first initial trip, if I can come up with any. Um, but I am going to be using this all ice season, so I'm definitely going to be able to come up with pros and cons at the end of this year. But let's take a look at the box, what we got in the box right here. So essentially, it's a... <clears throat> I've already got it open, but right on here it says one year warranty, but it is a box inside of a box. There we go. Here we go, that guy. Yo yo. Um, so, first initial look, I mean, it's a really nice hard case. It seems heavy duty. Um, got a nice stand there, uh, but compact. So, for me, ice fishing, I pack in light, as light as I can, but the filming I do, I, it seems like I carry more stuff for filming than I do anything else anymore. So you get this protective pad. Um, this is a sunshade charger battery. One of the first things you wanna do is, out of the package, plug it in. You got your power cord here, which plugs into this port, which has the 18650 lithium battery pack. Go ahead and uh, plug that bad boy in. And we're charging. This is a bobber float for it. Here is your main cables here. So you got your power, your camera cord, and then your video. The camera eye itself. So there's that. And these are LED lights that light up in low light conditions. We're gonna kick them on when we take it to the lake and try it to see if that actually works or how well it works. Here's your extra clips for running the cable, you know, all sorts of different uh, adapters and clips. So in the owner's manual here, it breaks down everything. Here is your coil pack for now let's take a look at this. Okay, so so you got to open this. So let's go ahead and do that. So you send it down so far, and then you rig it up with your clips and everything. So the weight of your cable actually holds that. So we'll go ahead and rig that stuff up, and I'll show you guys how that's going to set up. Real quick, a look at the screen here. Um, I believe it pops out. Yes. Yep, it comes right out of there. So you can take it, you know, you can view whatever, whenever you like. And um, that's where it clips there. Here's your micro SD port, which it even comes with one, wouldn't you know? Eight gigabyte, not very big. I'll probably put a bigger one in it. But yeah, that's it. I mean, pretty cut and dry, pretty simple. And them just snap together so one as you can see one kind of points it down a little bit pointed down some so let's put two on and see what that does because um i'm gonna want it facing up a little bit or maybe i'll have it pointed down i guess it's just trial and error right oh i guess you really only need to put the one so yeah so that points it up a little bit you only need the one, so wherever you want it. But that's gonna be pointed on a downward angle just a little bit, so it's kind of like that. 
All right, so I'm gonna hook it up to the power cord. You know, real simple. Everything's color coded here. There we go. So, look at my kitchen quick, but. So this thing definitely is in the way. I don't know if that can be bent down. I don't know what that's for. Not sure, but I'm looking at, you know, and I can see that little metal, whatever that is, in there. If I can slightly bend it down. There, it's out of there now. All right. I wasn't really sure what that is, but hopefully I didn't ruin it. I don't think I did. But yeah, everything appears to work. So you hit the menu, you've got brightness. Oh, menu. You hit this one here, it cycles through. Pretty simple. Um, so if you hit menu again, it takes you to that one, English. You could set your date and time if you like, which um, pretty close. I'm not too concerned about that. So we got 636. Uh, pretty, oh, see, you got you'll get right out of it. So you hit menu again. Take you there. Date and time. Picture. What's this? Snapshot. Format. Copy. Picture view. Record. Play. So let's go menu, menu. So fairly simple, guys. There's only four main screens, record, play, format. So we hit, we're exiting. And um, yeah, there it is. Fairly simple. Okay, so we're going under. It's getting spun around pretty good because it's windy out. As you can see, I mean, pretty, pretty clear picture. Although well, there's not much to see here. Looks to be maybe some bluegills down there. Swimming around. Those might be little perch. Pretty deep right here. All kinds of little bluegills down there checking out my uh, camera. Perch too, it looks like. Pretty cool stuff. They're just staged right up under this dock. A couple more there checking it out. Again with this wind and current, I mean even though the camera's blowing around pretty hard, it uh. Still pulling a pretty good picture, even though the camera's moving all on its own. Pretty cool. Little bluegill there. I gotta be down 10 feet. Had a whole school of them down there under that dock piling. Look at that. Whole school of gills. Here we are at the bottom of the water column. Just so you guys can see, it is still pretty clear. Considering the clarity isn't really great and I've got a current. Pretty cool stuff. A little nicer bluegill down here. So here's the amount of cord I had out. It's about 15 feet, I'm gonna say. 15 feet deep. And uh, had pretty good quality picture, hence the clarity. Um, I don't see any reason to continue on. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that, especially at 15 foot of water. That's a pretty good picture. Given the current and the clarity of the water, really impressed. Hi, you guys. So, as promised, part of the review is going to be the nighttime. I'm just gonna set it off the dock here and um, 
see what we can see i'm looking the water looks fairly clear but we'll drop it down there and take a peek all right so as you guys can see I'm trying to show you it's an infrared like led type light now you can see you know the light it puts off i'm shining the dock i'll shine the sign Put it upside right, shallow, no swimming. Now the water clarity is pretty bad. I'm gonna send that bad boy down there. So what you can see is a lot of, uh, there's a lot of garbage, to be honest with you. I mean, it's not the cleanest water but when everything settles, it actually isn't bad. Um, but it does work as it should. I don't know, unless the water's crystal clear, I really don't know what you're gonna see using the light. So, again, that water's pretty dirty right here at the launch. In my pros and cons after my first use using the EOYO, underwater fishing camera um the box that it comes in is really durable really durable box it'll really protect it dragging it out on the ice even if you're dragging your equipment with a machine you got this in a bucket or in the sled it's going to be well protected so hats off to them for that the screen really good clarity on the screen um i won't be able to give a full battery life review until actually i use it for a full season um the camera reel for the cable um i mean it, it is what it is you can everybody can make their own adjustments to the camera cable itself but as a unit as a whole um the only con i see would be um night fishing but i really don't do a lot of night fishing and if you do um it's going to be difficult to see the bottom with the extra sediment that's down there um, maybe in a crystal clear lake it's not as bad, but the lake I chose to try the night vision uh, didn't work out so well. But for if you're a new ice fisherman or if you're a seasoned ice fisherman and looking to get a camera, I would highly suggest this um, for the price. This is a really good unit. I'm going to leave you guys a link to where you can buy this right from Amazon. It's my own associate link. You can buy this exact device and... Um, if you don't have any electronics for ice fishing, uh, this is really a good start. This is my first camera, and I'm looking forward to using it this ice season. Um, but all in all, for the money, the product you get is worth it. There's a lot of high-dollar cameras out there. I've, again, I've never used one. Um, I don't know what makes one better from the other, but I have used a uh, fishing graph my entire career of ice fishing the last 15 years and I know how that operates and how it helps me uh, ice fishing and I can see that adding this to my arsenal already is gonna really increase my uh, success rate on the ice and I'm gonna be able to recover some pretty cool footage with this throughout the winter season so if you're looking to get an underwater camera even if it's not for ice fishing if it's for fishing off the boat um, really cool really cool product appears to be reliable everything is built pretty well on it um, you get plenty of cable um, really cool for the kids if you take kids fishing this would be a really cool uh, product for them as well appreciate you guys for watching again in the description you're going to find a link where you can purchase this it's an amazon associate affiliate link if you're interested in one feel free to grab it use that link take you to the website and pick one up but like thank you guys for watching we'll see you on the next one